Anti-gravity technologies have long been a subject of fascination in both science fiction and theoretical physics. The idea of defying gravity and floating freely has captured the imagination of many. In fact, there are several current and future technologies that aim to reduce or counteract the effects of gravity. Anti-gravity refers to the idea of creating a place or object that is free from the force of gravity. This could involve manipulating gravitational fields or using other forces to counteract gravity. Basic principles of anti-gravity include the use of electromagnetic fields, quantum mechanics, and even theoretical particles like gravitons. Researchers are exploring these principles to develop practical applications. As we embrace the world of anti-gravity technologies, we'll explore both the current advancements and the exciting possibilities that the future holds. To truly appreciate the current advancements and future potential of anti-gravity technologies, we must first understand the history of anti-gravity research. The journey began over a century ago with early theoretical musings and experimental efforts. In the early 20th century, scientists like Nikola Tesla and Thomas Townsend Brown were among the first to explore the possibilities of manipulating gravity. Tesla, renowned for his work with electricity, speculated about the existence of a force that could counteract gravity. Meanwhile, Brown conducted experiments with high-voltage capacitors, coining the term electrogravitics to describe his findings. Although his work remains controversial, it sparked a wave of interest and further investigation. Fast forward to the 1950s and 60s, during the height of the space race, when the idea of anti-gravity gained renewed attention. Researchers and military agencies, particularly in the United States, began to explore the potential of gravity control for aerospace applications. Declassified documents from this era reveal intriguing experiments aimed at achieving anti-gravity effects. In more recent times, advancements in quantum mechanics and materials science have opened up new avenues for anti-gravity research. The discovery of superconductors and their unique properties, such as the Meissner effect, has provided a tangible pathway to creating levitation effects. Similarly, breakthroughs in understanding electromagnetic fields have led to practical applications in maglev transportation and other technologies that seemingly defy gravity. As we move forward, it's important to recognize these key milestones and breakthroughs that have shaped our understanding of anti-gravity. Each discovery, no matter how small, brings us one step closer to realizing the dream of defying gravity. Now, let's delve into the present technologies that are paving the way for future innovations. Present technologies. Today, we see the marvels of electromagnetic levitation in action. From maglev trains that hover above tracks, reducing friction and increasing speed, to advanced research in laboratories exploring new applications. Scientists are pushing the boundaries, aiming to revolutionize transportation, manufacturing, and even space exploration. The potential of these technologies is immense promising a future where levitation becomes a common aspect of our daily lives. Electromagnetic levitation. Used in technologies like maglev trains, electromagnetic levitation uses powerful magnets to lift and propel objects without physical contact, reducing friction and enabling high-speed travel. This isn't true anti-gravity, but it creates the effect of levitation by counteracting gravity with magnetic forces. Superconductors also play a crucial role in electromagnetic levitation. When cooled to extremely low temperatures, they exhibit the Meissner effect, which expels magnetic fields and allows for stable levitation. This principle is used in MRI machines and particle accelerators. Ongoing studies aim to make superconductors more practical for everyday use, potentially revolutionizing transportation and other fields. Patents and pioneers of anti-gravity technologies. Throughout history, numerous inventors and scientists have filed patents that explore the concept of anti-gravity. One notable figure is Thomas Townsend Brown, who in the early 20th century developed theories and experiments related to electrogravitics, leading to several patents that sparked interest in anti-gravity research. Another pioneer is John Searle, who claimed to have created a device known as the Searle Effect Generator, which purportedly produces both free energy and anti-gravity effects. While his claims remain controversial, they have inspired further exploration and patents in the field. More recently in the 21st century, aerospace engineer and inventor Ning Li has contributed significantly with her work on gravitational shielding, leading to innovative patents that push the boundaries of our understanding of gravity manipulation. These patents represent a blend of ambitious ideas and groundbreaking research, paving the way for future technologies that may one day achieve true anti-gravity. 
As we look deeper into these innovations, we uncover the immense potential and the challenges that lie ahead in turning these concepts into practical applications. Superconductors and Meissner effect superconductors when cooled to very low temperatures can repel magnetic fields through the Meissner effect, causing them to levitate above a magnet. This fascinating phenomenon is not just a laboratory curiosity. This principle is used in some experimental technologies, such as maglev trains, which use superconducting magnets to achieve frictionless travel. There are several applications of superconductors, some of which are emerging or under research. Superconducting Magnetic Energy Storage, or SMES systems. Store energy in the magnetic field generated by the flow of current in a superconducting coil. These systems can release large amounts of energy quickly and efficiently, making them useful for stabilizing power grids and supporting renewable energy sources. These superconductors could be used in the propulsion systems of electric aircraft. Superconducting materials are being explored for potential use in magnetic launch systems, which could help propel spacecraft without the need for traditional rocket fuel. Squids or superconducting quantum interference devices are extremely sensitive magnetometers used to detect tiny magnetic fields. Squids are currently used in medical diagnostics, such as magnetoencephalography or MEG to map brain activity, and in materials science to detect minute changes in magnetic properties. Superconductors are used to generate terahertz radiation, which has applications in security screening, non-invasive imaging, and spectroscopy. Superconducting digital circuits, ultra-fast and energy-efficient digital circuits can be created with superconductors. Superconducting filters are used in telecommunications to filter out noise and improve the quality of signals, particularly in cellular base stations and satellite communications. Magnetic confinement fusion reactors contain and control the hot plasma necessary for nuclear fusion. Superconducting magnets are essential for maintaining the magnetic fields required to confine the plasma. Superconducting cables are being developed to replace traditional copper or aluminum power cables, thereby improving the efficiency of power transmission grids. Superconductors are used in highly sensitive cryogenic detectors for astrophysics and particle physics experiments, such as in the search for dark matter and the detection of cosmic microwave background radiation. Superconducting materials can be used to create motors with higher efficiency and power density, which is useful in industries requiring large-scale electric motors, such as ship propulsion. Superconducting generators could also be used in wind turbines to reduce weight and increase efficiency, making renewable energy sources more viable. Superconductors continue to open new possibilities across a range of industries, and ongoing research is likely to yield even more innovative applications in the future. Future advancements in material science may lead to superconductors that operate at higher temperatures, making them more practical for everyday use. Imagine a world where superconductors are part of our daily lives, revolutionizing our world. The potential impact of such advancements is transformative, paving the way for a new era of technological innovation. Ion propulsion is a type of electric propulsion system used in spacecraft, which generates thrust by accelerating ions which are charged particles to very high velocities using electric or magnetic fields. Unlike traditional chemical rockets, which rely on combustion, ion propulsion systems use electricity to ionize a propellant and produce thrust more efficiently. Although highly efficient, ion thrusters produce relatively low levels of thrust compared to chemical rockets. This means they cannot be used for rapid acceleration or launching from Earth's surface, but are ideal for deep space missions where gradual, continuous acceleration over time is advantageous. Ion thrusters can also operate continuously for long periods, allowing spacecraft to gradually increase their velocity. This capability makes them well-suited for missions requiring significant changes in orbit or long-distance travel across the solar system. They are used for precise control of spacecraft orbits, such as adjusting the position of satellites or interplanetary spacecraft. It allows for fine adjustments over long periods with minimal fuel consumption. Ion propulsion has been employed in several deep space missions, such as NASA's Dawn mission, which explored the asteroid Vesta and the dwarf planet Ceres. The European Space Agency's Bepi Colombo mission to Mercury also uses ion propulsion for its journey. Satellites in geostationary orbit often use ion propulsion for station keeping, which involves making small adjustments to remain in a fixed position relative to Earth. 
Ion propulsion is considered a key technology for future missions to the outer planets, asteroids, and even crewed missions to Mars, where efficient, long-duration propulsion is crucial. Let's take a minute to look at the three types of ion thrusters. The most common type are gridded ion thrusters, where ions are accelerated through electrostatic grids. These are typically used in deep space missions. A type of ion thruster, where ions are accelerated using a combination of electric and magnetic fields are Hall effect thrusters, which are commonly used in satellites and for station keeping. Field Emission Electric Propulsion, or FEEP, uses liquid metal as a propellant, which is ionized and accelerated. FEEP thrusters are extremely precise and are used in scientific missions requiring very fine control. Ion propulsion represents a significant advancement in space propulsion technology, enabling more efficient use of propellant and allowing spacecraft to undertake long-duration missions that would be impossible with conventional propulsion methods. In the realm of anti-gravity technologies, quantum field theory plays a pivotal role. Researchers are delving into the manipulation of gravity through quantum fields, exploring how particles and forces interact at the smallest scales. Current research focuses on creating controlled gravitational fields, potentially revolutionizing space travel and transportation. Imagine spacecraft that can defy gravity, or cities with floating buildings. These advancements could transform our future, making once impossible feats a reality. In classical physics, gravity is described by Einstein's general theory of relativity, where massive objects warp spacetime, creating the effect we perceive as gravity. In quantum field theory, gravity would be mediated by gravitons. Anti-gravity would involve manipulating or counteracting these gravitational interactions. The quantum vacuum, also known as the zero-point field, is a concept in QFT where even in a vacuum, fields still have a minimal amount of energy, known as zero-point energy. Some theories suggest that if this energy could be harnessed or manipulated, it might produce anti-gravity effects. Have they done it already? Some theoretical models, inspired by QFT and general relativity, explore the possibility of faster-than-light travel or creating warp bubbles that could alter space-time and reduce or negate gravitational effects. A warp bubble is a hypothetical region of space-time that allows for faster-than-light travel by contracting space in front of it and expanding space behind it. The spacecraft inside the bubble would essentially ride this distortion of space-time, enabling it to move faster than light relative to an outside observer. Regardless of what we are told, I feel confident that science is already on top of this. These concepts, such as those in the Alcubierre drive model, often require exotic matter with negative energy density. The Alcubierre drive suggests a spacecraft could achieve FTL travel without violating Einstein's theory of relativity. Instead of moving through space, the spacecraft would remain stationary within the bubble while the bubble itself moves. Attempts to unify quantum field theory with general relativity, such as in string theory or loop quantum gravity, sometimes suggest mechanisms that might affect gravity at quantum scales. String theory suggests that the basic building blocks of everything in the universe are tiny, vibrating strings rather than point-like particles. These strings' vibrations determine what kind of particles they are and how they behave. Loop quantum gravity is a theory that combines the ideas of quantum mechanics and gravity, suggesting that space is made up of tiny, discrete chunks, not a smooth continuum. Think of space as a network of interconnected loops, which form a kind of fabric that can be studied at the quantum level. As scientists continue to unlock the mysteries of quantum gravity, the possibilities are boundless, paving the way for a new era of technological innovation. Another fascinating area of research is electrogravitics, which dates back to the mid-20th century. Electrogravitics involves the study of how electric fields can influence gravitational fields. Early pioneers like Thomas Townsend Brown conducted experiments that suggested a link between electricity and gravity, suggesting that it's possible to control or influence gravity using electrical fields. The idea is based on the notion that strong electric fields could create a force that counteracts gravity. Today, researchers continue to investigate these phenomena, hoping to unlock new possibilities for propulsion and energy. The potential applications of these technologies could revolutionize our understanding of space travel and gravity manipulation. Gravity modification via quantum field theory. Some researchers are exploring the idea that gravity might be modified or controlled by manipulating quantum fields. This involves highly speculative physics, including the potential use of exotic matter or negative energy to influence gravitational fields. Artificial gravity in space habitats is another area of interest.
Current technologies focus on creating artificial gravity through rotation. Future possibilities include advanced materials and quantum field manipulation. These advancements could revolutionize how we live and work in space. Electrogravitics is a controversial field that emerged in the mid-20th century, claiming that certain high-voltage electric fields could reduce the effects of gravity. This idea was initially met with great enthusiasm, as it promised revolutionary advancements in transportation and energy. However, despite numerous experiments and studies, no conclusive evidence supports these claims. Yet the idea persists in some research communities, driven by the hope of uncovering new principles of physics. As humanity looks toward long-term space exploration, creating artificial gravity in space habitats is a practical concern. Rotating space stations or habitats could generate centrifugal force to mimic gravity, providing a stable environment for astronauts. This concept, often depicted in science fiction, is becoming a reality as engineers and scientists work on innovative designs. By spinning a space station or habitat, the centrifugal force pushes objects and people outward simulating the effects of gravity. This artificial gravity can help mitigate the adverse health effects of prolonged weightlessness, such as muscle atrophy and bone density loss. As we advance our space exploration capabilities, developing effective artificial gravity systems will be crucial for the well-being of astronauts on long-duration missions. The future of space habitats will likely see more sophisticated and efficient methods to create and maintain artificial gravity ensuring a safer and more comfortable environment for space travelers. Any technology capable of countering or manipulating gravity would likely require vast amounts of energy. New materials with unprecedented properties might be necessary to withstand the forces involved in advanced anti-gravity technologies. The development and deployment of such technologies would raise significant ethical and safety concerns, especially if they could be weaponized or misused. Security of such tech technologies is paramount to their release. Current advances in electromagnetic levitation, ion propulsion, and theoretical physics offer glimpses into possible future developments. As our understanding of physics deepens, the possibility of more advanced gravity manipulation technologies may become more feasible, potentially revolutionizing transportation, space exploration, and various other fields.